everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Dr. Jonathan Perlman. And if you have watched any of my content, you know that I simply would not do anything or prescribe anything to a patient or a client that I have not tried or done myself or have seen or had experience with somebody I trust and know as whether or not the, the outcomes of what they did was positive or negative. In this case, we're going to specifically refer to peptides. And you may have noticed on this channel, there's been a shift in content where it's been a little bit more functional medicine, a little bit more, um, how should we say, holistic based or alternative thought based in sense of um, regimens and or routines of things we can do to make ourselves healthy. And I think some of the big misunderstanding, misunderstanding, some of the big misnomers within the worlds of peptides, or within the worlds of anti-aging, which I actually hate that term anti-aging because most of the commonly used peptides on its own are actually pro-aging, turning over cells faster and faster, meaning cell, pro cell proliferation and a faster um, regeneration, uh, regeneration and or angiogenesis of new cells. So the reason this happens is because if you have an overreaction, an overreaction of growth hormone pathway making the IGF-1, right? The IGF-1 chronically high can lead to things like high glucose. If you have chronically high glucose, then you're constantly making more insulin. And eventually if you became in, God forbid, an insulin resistant state, that's what leads to type two diabetes or various forms of diabetes that are constantly popping up in the literature. And we don't wanna have that systemic low grade inflammation or any kind of autoimmune like inflammatory effect because we're messing around with the peptides and don't know what the F we're doing. So that's where this video comes into play. And that's why this is so important and why I wanted to make this today. People know about peptides. It's out there, it's all over the internet. You don't need me to tell you about, there's something called BPC-157. Or you know, when I first heard about it, I was like, BCP-51759, it's all these different things. You got TB-500, CJC-1295, you got Tessamorelin, or Tessamorelin sometimes uh, stated, uh, Simorelin, Simorelin sometimes stated. You've got Hexamorelin, you've got, you've got all these different growth hormone uh, secretagogues, you have all these different um, growth hormone producing IGF-1 like supporting mimicking uh, secretagogues. And then you also have things like angiogenesis or what they call VEGF, which is to repair and uh, stimulate healing to blood cells. But at the same time, too much, again, or, or something that's been said in, in science that I think is so brilliant is the, the poison is within the dose. Again, a little bit of something can be very beneficial. A lot of something can be detrimental. A lot of something or more of something might be needed in a short term, whereas a slow drip of something may not even be enough. And that's why you have to work with somebody who knows what they're doing. So again, are peptides, or I wanted to make this video say like, are peptides actually anti-inflammatory or are they pro-inflammatory? What do you have to, to know? What do you have to be scared of? Uh, what do you have to be scared of? And I would say this, if you use certain kind of peptides to be um, pro, how should we say, excuse me, excuse me, anti-inflammatory, you have to remember it comes from tissue repair, uh, muscle and tissue and cell uh, synthesis and regeneration and repair. And this does happen. And now in my short term being on a new cycle and I'm using uh, tessamorelin or tessamorelin, any which way you wanna say it, and BPC-157, I have seen a significant improvement in a reduction of my inflammation and how I feel in the day, how my back feels from sitting to standing, how my functionality is as I move around. And I feel that I have considerably lost a lot of bloat around my gut just in the short term. I can't wait to go through my full six week cycle before I start reducing off. And again, what are peptides? They are short chain amino acids that are, um, uh, not synonymous, analogous to a lot of the compounds that we have within our own body that then stimulate these pathways so that we can have a desired outcome and effect. Does it happen all the time? Well, it depends where you're getting your peptides from and if it's actually the real thing. And then you have to be diligent about your blood work and your scans in order to know whether or not you're actually accomplishing what it is you're setting out to accomplish. Most people think of anti-aging. It's not anti-aging, sorry, it's just stupid. But is it anti-inflammatory? Probably very much yes. Is it uh, pro-inflammatory? If you're not careful and you don't know what you're doing, much like people who, well, just compare it to steroids, another you know performance enhancer like I mentioned on a video before. If you're careless and reckless and don't know what you are doing and sloppy and overutilize something or use too much of something, you will have the negative consequences and that is pro-inflammatory, uh, you know, pro-inflammation, pro-inflammatory, whatever I was trying to say. 
It is vitally important that you consult with somebody who knows what they are doing and who knows how to pre-screen so that you can get what it is you want and talk about what is best for you. Yes, there are tools on the internet. Guys, there's nothing wrong with being your own advocate, diligently looking at and, and evaluating what may be beneficial to you, but do not embark on these journeys until you have somebody that knows how to interpret the labs to fill in the gaps. Please, guys. If you ever need anything, right, I'm going to cut the video here. If you need anything, reach out on this channel. You can ask me any questions you want. I will do my best to answer. At my clinic here in Richardson, Texas, we do have amazing collaborative um, participating physicians who we work with, nurse practitioners and such that do the evaluation. They will write the prescriptions if they are something that is a prescription that is needed. They can get you through their prescriptive authority, the right compounding pharmacies to get you the peptides that will best benefit you. Or you can go to a place like, and guys, no promotion here. Okay, no, nobody works with me. Look at my YouTube channel, no promotions here. I'm not making any money off of it. I just wanna give you the best information, but I really like Peptide Science, that uh, pepsidescience.com is what I think they are. I really have had great success early with their product. I see a lot of uh, other um, influencers on YouTube who have really had great success and um, do their own testimonials much like I'm doing. And that is a place to get your stuff. So in, in summary, please do your homework, know what you're getting into, the pros and the cons of uh, peptides. And until next time, it's Dr. Perlman.